Good day. I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, we wanted to provide you with an update about where we are with our church services here at Woodridge. Uh, we've been doing a lot of planning, a lot of thinking, a lot of uh, working with other churches in the area, uh, with our local government as well as with the state government, and then also, of course, with the CDC and following federal guidelines related to that. Based on what we know at this point and what we're planning on doing is starting our next live service will be May 17th. Uh, we'll actually have two services that Sunday. We'll have one at 10.30 in the morning, and we'll have one at 6 p.m. that evening, both on the 17th. Now, there's, there's a lot of different things that will be happening related to uh, church services, one of them being that you're going to have to register uh, to join the service. This is going to be a, a best practice and something you'll see most churches will be doing is asking people who want to participate in a worship service uh, to go ahead and register ahead of time. Uh, we'll be using a service called Eventbrite uh, to do this and there'll be more instruction coming out along with this video about how to do that and of course the link to go to register. At this time, based on what the governor is saying, we have a 25% capacity uh, that we're allowed for the church and so that would allow us to have about 208 people in the worship center and about an additional 60 or so in an overflow room which would be uh, the shelter and that would be for both services. Uh, we will continue to stream uh, the service at both times at 10.30 and uh, 6 p.m. whenever we start on the 17th. Now, as you know, the 18th, the governor will come out with a, a possibly come out with the option of going to 50%. Again, that depends on how everything is going related to the COVID virus and everything related to that. So the 17th at this point, we're looking at 25%, possibly the following week, 50%. We'll keep you guys posted on that. Now, you may have known we've done a survey, and many of you have filled that survey out, and we do appreciate that. And based on the questions and observations and thoughts we received from that survey, I wanted to provide you some uh, guidance and, um, I guess, insight about how we will be doing our services going forward. Uh, so besides having Eventbrite registration, uh, we'll of course practice social distancing in the worship center and that will what that will mean is that every other row uh, we will have people uh, sitting and then we will also have between every three seats per household uh, as well. Uh, we will have ushers, our first impressions team, staff to guide people when they come into the worship center to do that. Other things related to this, uh, we will not be serving any coffee or food food uh, service uh, on Sundays for either service time. Uh, we will have uh, plenty of hand sanitizer and hand sanitizing stations around the facility. Uh, those who will be volunteering for us as first impressions and ushers and staff will be wearing masks. Uh, we will ask that you would wear a mask. Uh, we recommend that you would wear a mask, but at the same time it's not required. Uh, we're not going to require you to wear a mask uh, for that. Uh, there will be no children's services uh, at this time. Uh, that if you have children and you want to bring them, uh, we encourage you to do that, but they will be joining you in the worship service either at 1030 or 6 o'clock uh, p.m. We'll have a lot more information related to how we'll be uh, continuing to um, work with our students and continue to serve our students and our children's ministries in the coming weeks, but at this time uh, there are no additional student services or student uh, programming or children programming on Sunday, so no Sunday school. Speaking of Sunday school, there's no adult Sunday school either, unless you're, of course, doing your Zoom or some sort of other uh, meeting, online meeting. I know some Sunday schools have been meeting in person, have been meeting at their homes, and that's perfectly fine. That is up to you and the comfort of your group. But here at the church, we'll, through the month of May, we'll, we will not have any sort of Sunday school here at the church. As we go into June and August, that may change, but most likely it won't. Uh, we will keep you guys posted as that goes forward. And again, this is based on other things that we're learning from other churches, and as well as our local government, the medical center, and other groups that we're working with to provide that. Other things just to be aware of, based on what we know from the survey, uh, doors will be propped open, not only to the building, but also to the worship center. We'll have the appropriate signs uh, throughout related to social distancing, and what we're also asking for, uh, you know, continually washing your hands, or not continually, but washing them as, as often as you can, and of course, hand sanitizing. Uh, we will have friendly ushers and first impressions team and staff here, but do not, uh, if, if they do not reach out and shake your hand, that is 
just uh, what we're asking them not to do. Uh, same with hugging. I know there's a lot of huggers out there, uh, and it, it, I, it saddens you, I know, but we're asking that you not hug others here and just keep to the social distancing uh, as much as you can. After both services, we will do an uh, extensive cleaning of the worship center, the hallways, the restrooms, and all rooms that are used during the service time. Uh, there's a service company that we work with that does provide that service as well as some additional staff that we have uh, that does those serve that will do that as well. The reason I bring that up is not only for peace of mind for you, but also that we will be asking you to, as soon as the service is over, not to congregate in the building, but to go outside. And you can, of course, congregate, spend as much time as you want outside in the parking lot of the church, but not inside the church, because what we'll have to do is just do a very quick turnaround. And it'll probably take about four to five hours to do the appropriate cleaning uh, for the uh, worship center. So that's the, uh, the main announcements that we wanted to uh, provide uh, you guys at this point and just keep you up to date with what we're doing. Uh, we will be sharing, of course, not only this video, but there will be some additional documents that we'll be sharing uh, as well, uh, a couple uh, PDF presentations, uh, just kind of breaking down what I just said here, so providing a summary of that, as well as some additional information of what it will look like over probably the next couple months as we phase into uh, ongoing services and programming uh, here at the church. So uh, keep uh, your eyes and ears and uh, mind open to all the things that we will be uh, providing over the next couple weeks and of course the next couple of days and share with your friends and family and anyone else who you may who who may be interested or uh, want to know what's going on here at Woodridge appreciate your understanding and uh, your time of, of watching this video and uh, hope to see you guys on the 17th <laughs>